Good cross good results and good is the basic rule many pigeon fanciers strictly adhere to to advance in pigeon sport. However, to really succeed you have to make sure that good cross good actually results in something better. And that, that feeling for breeding, is not something just anybody is able to do. Someone who certainly is able to combine good bloodlines into something better is, without a doubt Jacob Portvliet of Sarism in the Netherlands. Granted, Jacob was infected with the pigeon sport virus through his father Lean at a very young age and started keeping pigeons when he was just 11 years old, but even with tons of experience breeding to an ever-increasing standard of quality is not so easy. On the lofts in Sarism however a collection of pigeons can be found that clearly shows Jacob Portvliet surely knows what he is doing. My name is Jacob Portvliet from Sarism. Together with my wife Antje we participate in the province of Friesland in the north of the Netherlands and this is my 53rd year in pigeon sports. On a regional level, Jacob Portvliet battles against roughly 130 fanciers. On a provincial level we're quickly talking about roughly 1600 competitors. So it's safe to say he's facing a strong competitive environment. First national champion young birds with young zot. First national middle distance loft of the Netherlands. First national champion one day long distance Fondspiegel category 8. First national short distance bird for wink with magic wonder. First national winner Gauden Dua for Holland first international short distance bird for W Europe with magic wonder. First international winner one loft race in Germany. First international in Annu on Sens, 591 kilometers against 16,572 pigeons. First NPO St. Quentin, 423 kilometers against 13,472 pigeons. First NPO Pithaviers, 624 kilometers against 7,385 pigeons. First NPO Sens, 591 kilometers against 8,269 pigeons. First national long distance bird WHZB with Blue Princess. What we are talking about here are just some examples over the past 10 years. In 2015 alone, the Port of Leet Loft won no less than eight regional championships and four best bird titles on long distance, middle distance, and sprint. First regionals were won from Jump, 169 kilometers, over Quee Rain, 354 kilometers, against 4,020 pigeons. Up to Gein, 660 kilometers, against 1,046 pigeons. Add to this 42 times first provincial championships, general championships, regional championships and ace pigeon titles between 2007 and 2014 on all distances from sprint to one day long distance races, and it will be clear the Port of Lee pigeons are able to take on just about anything. Mind you, we have been talking so far only about first positions. If we start adding spots in the top 10 we will not have finished for days and this video will as a manner of speaking become as long as the series movies. On top of that all, these results were not won against a small number of fanciers. Anyone able to face this kind of competition does not have to be afraid to tackle the international scene in the one loft races. It comes as no surprise the Port of Leap Pigeons are more than able to hold their own in this field as well. Jacob Portvliet used the best basic material available to build his own Portvliet strain. On his lofts we find the lines of among others like Koopman, Op de Beek Bittens, Dirk van Dyke, De Rauw Sablin, Koen Minderud, Gabby van den Abel, Leo Hermans, Mariki Vink, Gaston van de Wauwer and Ari Dijkstra. However, quality on one's own loft is one thing, performance on the loft of another is of course something else. But in this department, Jacob Portvliet does not have to hide in shame either. Since 2002, Jacob Portvliet lives at his present address in Sarism. From here he drives 28 pairs of racers to unlimited highs and turns many eggs of his 60 breeding pairs into cracks. About 100 youngsters are bred for racing. The 56 acers are entered on double widowhood rotation system. First, the hens are trained. The cocks walk to the hen's loft, with perches, the hens walk in the cock loft, with breeding boxes, get some food, the cocks are trained, the hens walk back to their own section. 
twice a day training, with the hands training just a bit longer and harder. Sometimes up to two hours per training. The lofts are closed, but Jacob refuses to train with the flag and Nesta picture. Youngsters can train practically whole day, sometimes even night and day. At night Jacob lets them out, they can come in themselves and the loft remains opened so they can train early in the morning again. When the darkening is stopped that is. The youngsters are darkened from medium April up to end May, six to seven weeks in total. In the morning they must go outside and an obligatory training of 1.5 up to 2 hours is at program, also for the youngsters on nests. The rest of the day they are free to train. Old pigeons are not darkened. Pairing. Breeders as well as racers are paired half December. The eggs of the racers are placed under nurse pairs, at his father, and the eggs of the breeders are placed under the racers and so the breeders can produce quickly again. This brings him a quick two rounds of the breeders. The racers bring up the youngsters until they are about two and a half weeks old. The hen and one youngster, placed in the youngster's loft and the other youngster remains at the cock. The hens cannot lay a second time. Middle of March, the racers are paired again, they get to breed a maximum of ten days on the eggs and and then put on the widowhood system. He like the racers keep their feathers longer. It takes a long time before the first pinion is thrown. Beginning of July most of them only threw one or two pinions. Feeding Jacob Portvliet developed a good feeding system that did not only succeed for himself, but also for many other fanciers. Jacob do not like to feed poor quality mixtures. The mixtures that he used for his racers for both old and young pigeons are Jerry plus a Versali Laga, Soy Gold Sport of Merriman. Champion Mix Soya Gold, all in one of Koopman. Furthermore, candy seeds, peanuts, grind, and hemp. These mixtures feed in the racing season. Beginning Sunday morning, and his starting point is basketing on Friday. When this is Tuesday, all comes one day earlier. Sunday, Monday, and Thursday, a mixture of G and C, with some additional candy seeds, peanuts, and a bit hemp. Wednesday morning all four mixtures in equal quantities, that is G, S, C and K added with some candy, seeds, peanuts and bit hemp. Wednesday night, Tuesday and Friday morning mix of S and K added with some candy seeds, peanuts and a bit hemp, but some more than the beginning of the week. A bit food can remain, especially on Friday, and don't take the tray away, for the youngsters, get it away around noon. The beginning of the week all must be eaten, but not too poor. Friday morning the youngsters get electrolytes over the food. Beginning of the week the food is poor of protein. It makes them round, but not too heavy so they want to train hard. Wednesday morning is the switching point. Last four meals before basketing they must become heavier and form some reserves. When they have no reserves, the results get worse every week. When they arrive home they also get something of all. When there no races, he put all mixtures together. Every three to four weeks they get a canker product one or two days. It is also possible to supply a disinfector every three to four weeks. When they return home, always clear water in the drinking pot. When they are home a few hours, electrolytes are good in the water. Once a week he give vitamins over the food, normally Thursday morning. On Friday basketing, garlic powder he give also once a week, mostly Wednesday morning. After a heavy race it is good to give some extra vitamins in the beginning of the week. On Tuesday, the day before basketing, they get orny speck in the drinking water, for the upper airways. For the youngsters this is orny 3, especially for youngsters. Every time he gave the youngsters electrolytes over the food the day of basketing, in the morning. In 2004. The doctors diagnosed at Jacob an asthmatic bronchitis and emphysema. The disease caused a double lung transplant. Although the pigeons were not the cause of this condition, it was no longer possible for Jacob to feed the pigeons. However, an utter abandonment of the beloved pigeon sport was not for his wife Ange. They took over the helm and the supply, largely to this day. She is supported by friend Hank Hoekstra, who has assumed the blow cleaning. In the night of January 4th to 5th, 2008, 
77 pigeons were stolen, including 30 breeding pigeons. It was very hard but Jacob was glad that no pigeon racing team was stolen and he concentrated fully on the travel season in 2008. It was the best year ever. He won the national championship middle distance and P.O., the Golden Dove of the Magazine to do it for the Netherlands, the first general provincial championship, the first N.P.O., national, St. Quentin, 423 kilometers, against 13,472 pigeons, third Olympiad pigeon all-round Holland Olympiad Dortmund of 2009. Thanks to the excellent base and the targeted supplements continue unrestricted. Thank you for watching. Until next time.